Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about a secure NAT in F5 Big IP LTM. Before we proceed with the SNAT discussion, let's understand why SNAT is required and what are the possible issues that may occur in the production environment if SNAT is not configured in F5 Big IP LTM appliance. This is a scenario which you will see in your production environment as well where the firewall is deployed at the parameter side. And all the servers will be having a default gateway as the firewall interface IP address. The reason is this server needs to be connected to the internet although it will have a restricted internet access but it needs to be connected to the internet to update or upgrade as and when required and this is the reason the default gateway will be the firewall and over the firewall you will be defining a policies to allow a restricted internet access as per your requirement now let's understand why snet is required what is the issue you will face when snet is not configured assume that a client with the ip address 200.1.165.100 sends a HTTP GET request to your virtual server or your self IP. F5 LTM will forward this request to any one of the server in a pool depending upon the configured load balancing method. Just add a note that the request which has come to this server is from the client whose source IP address will be 200.1.165.100. Now the server will respond to the client but the problem over here is for this servers it doesn't have a route to reach to 200.1.165.100 so this servers will forward the traffic towards a default gateway the default gateway is a firewall so the problem over here is a firewall will block the untrust network because for firewall the traffic coming from the LAN side 200.1.165.100 is an untrusted IP. So the firewall will block over here itself or else a firewall will forward a response to an internet and the client will receive the response from different IP address and the packet will be discarded. So in both cases, client will not reach to website. To overcome such issues, we do need a SNET to be configured in F5 Big IP LTM appliance. So let's assume that now over here, the client sends an HTTP GET request to your virtual or a self IP. Now the F5 LTM will forward the request to any one of the server in a pool depending upon the configured load balancing method. Now over here the SNET is configured so the source IP address will be translated, the client address will be translated to the assigned SNET IP. Assume that we have assigned the NAT SNET IP to be 10.1.61.101. So the firewall will translate the client IP 200.1.165.100 to 10.1.61.101. Now the server will receive a request from the translated, the translated source IP and which will be 10.1.61.101. So the server will respond back to 10.1.61.101. When the server will respond to the client using the LAN address, F5 LTM will translate the packet using SNET and send it back to the client. So what has happened over here, the client has sent a HTTP GET request to your external or a virtual server, F5 Big IP LTM appliance has translated this IP to the assigned SNET IP address which was 10.1.61.101, the server has responded back on 10.1.61.101, FI LTM again comes into the picture, it uses the SNET and sends the request back to the client. So the client will be now able to access the website successfully. So summarizing the things, we can say that a secure network address translation is a big IP local traffic manager feature that translates the source IP address to a big IP system IP address that you define. The destination node then uses that new source address 
as its destination address when responding to the request. And finally, you will be having a choices of translation. In FY Big IP LTM, the first method is specific IP address. The one which we have discussed over here is called a specific IP address where you will specify a IP address and you will say that translate the client IP address to the assigned SNET IP address. Second one is self IP address that is auto map and the third one is IP address in SNET pool list. So instead of assigning a single IP, you will be assigning a pool list and you will say to F5 big IP LTM that translate from uh, translate the client address to one of the IP address in the pool list. That's all guys about the SNET. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it now and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.